Last summer I got my scuba diving certification and I recently bought an underwater journal so that I could journal underwater and I wanted to take you guys along with me. Sometimes when we go underwater, we wear what's called a wetsuit. I'll insert a clip of what it looks like. But while we're in Key West, the water is actually super warm so we don't need the wetsuits. Today I'm just gonna be scuba diving in my bikini. Made it to the boat. This is the boat we're using today. Sunscreen, super important. This is the underwater journal. The pencil is attached. It has a hook here to secure it to your BC, which is part of your scuba diving gear. And then you can open it up. This is what it looks like on the inside. We journaled in it a little bit yesterday. We all wrote our names. And it has a bunch of really thick waterproof paper. We're getting on the boat. This is an oxygen tank. We carry these on our back underwater. We got a lot of them. Then I went ahead and assembled my gear. I put my BCD or buoyancy compensator device onto the oxygen tank. And then we attach a regulator to the oxygen tank so that we're able to breathe underwater. So here's all of my gear set up. And we also have weights that you can put in your BC and they go right here in these pockets. And then I put on my little booties. Those just help the fins fit a little bit better. And then it was time to go scuba diving. We did two dives the day before this and then we had two more today. And we did a fifth and sixth dive the next day. While we were heading out to the reef, we actually passed right through a storm. So it started pouring down rain on us. It wasn't bad or anything. It was actually really funny. We were all like hiding from the rain together. But thankfully it cleared up by the time we got there. And then we put on all of our gear. You can see me in it here. And then and we got into the water. Then we started our dive. I wish I could explain to you all just how incredible this was. The videos really do not do it justice. Being underwater is unlike anything I've ever experienced because you truly are exposed to an entirely different world full of life. I mean, just look at all of those fish. It was honestly one of the most peaceful and engaging experiences I've ever had. And it gave me a whole new appreciation for journaling as well. First of all, it was hard to write when you're just floating and swimming in the water. Water, and who would have thought it would even be possible to write while underwater? Also, this picture that I'm showing, I drew that above water. There's no way I would have been able to do that while under the water. This is what my handwriting looks like while I'm under the water. But I was also kind of rushing through it a little bit because I just wanted to be present in the moment and not journal a ton while I was down there because it was difficult and just again because I wanted to be in the moment. But it still was just so cool to experience writing while underwater, especially because of how much I love doing it above water so it was really neat to just get to experience that and try it out while underneath the water's surface. It also came in really really handy because obviously you can't talk while you're underwater and we only know basic hand signals to communicate with one another so we were able to use journaling and writing as a form of communication so that we could understand each other easier when we weren't able to get across what we were trying to say just with the hand signals. At some points I was so glad that we had that journal because imagine just like being being underwater, you can't speak and you can't talk to the person you're with. It really was a very humbling experience in that sense. And then we jumped off the boat a couple times before we headed to our second dive spot, which I'll show here in a second. Hey YouTube channel, it's me, Tammy Walker. I look really ugly right now. I don't know if you can hear us, but we finished our first dive. We're heading to our second dive spot of the day. This is our fourth dive of the trip. We're doing two more tomorrow morning. And this was the tank I just used. And then I switched over to this one because we need to have a full tank for the next dive that we do. So here you can see me entering the water for our second dive and I did the okay hand signal on the top of my head. Right when we got down, we took a little family picture and then this shot right here reminds me of the Little Mermaid, which I felt like was really fitting because you know how she says it's a whole new world when talking about life above the water? That's exactly how I felt when thinking about life below the water. I know I've said it, but it is just a totally different world. It is amazing. I really felt like I was in the middle of Finding Nemo. We saw the most incredible, beautiful fish. We saw an eel on the first dive, which I didn't get a video of, but I did get a video of the shark that we saw on the next day. I'll insert that clip at the end of all of these animals. We saw a lionfish. Here's some barracuda that we saw. We saw a lot of barracuda, a bunch of schools of fish, and then here's the shark. Seeing a shark underwater for the first time was insane. I wasn't scared at all, but I definitely didn't want to get that close. We were just so excited. Our minds were blown, as you can see here. And when we popped up, we were just so amazed. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God. Diving always messes up my hair. <laughs> and then right as we were docking, I took this video of this golden retriever and my mom realized that he was looking down at something and there were actually manatees in the water. Oh my gosh, there's a manatee. The dog's looking at the manatee. Two manatees. There's like a little manatee. 
<laughs> Is this the little baby? Look at that big thing. Oh, yeah, look, right there. There's another big fish on there. There it goes. Look how cool. And the dog, the dog's like, hey. We saw the manatees thanks to that dog. That was so cool. What do you think, Sammy? Really cool. Good way to end off the scuba diving. Oh, yeah. Super awesome day. We took journaling to a whole new level today. Journaling underwater.